Your name is higher above all the name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Your name is higher above all the name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. She's in praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Man of Favor and from Milasa Tree Branch. I joined Chisin in 2017 and I thank God for delivering me from the hand of ritualist. Mm. Let's clap unto the Lord and appreciate him. Thank you very good God. So it all happened after enemy submitted program on the Saturday 14th November. I was coming back from the lab and getting to Sele. So, because I was sick and all that, I wasn't feeling fine. So, I, in my mind, I've entered this camp, I'm going to bend down because I was really having headache and I feel like I'm going to black out. So, I entered the bus and I bent down. I don't know what happened. Then, when I opened my eyes the next time, uh -uh, we are no more in Lagos. The place doesn't look like Lagos. So, mm. in my mind, I felt like maybe, you know, this bus now they'll take another route because of hold up or something. But then I looked around the bus, everybody was sleeping. And I touched the conductor and I like, Sadiko, wow, Sadiko, wow, and now hit me something on my head, and that's how I slept off. Hmm. So when I opened my eyes again, we are already in a cheek bush. Everywhere was noisy. So they were dragging people out of the bus, they were taking people into different sections. So there's this girl that is in the bus with me, she's like my age. So they took me and the girl. And they took us to an uncompleted building in that place. And when I entered, I started seeing bones, blood. And then it occurred to me that ah, I've entered one chance. So, and I started crying. I was like, God, I don't want to die. This is too early. Because I know if I die, I'm going to go into, I'm going to hellfire. So I was like, God, please, I don't want to die. God, please have mercy on me. And they dragged us and they took us to a room. As we entered the room, the girl was crying. Me, I was, I was like, God, I don't want to die. So when I entered the room, in my mind, I said, I am a choosing, I am a choosing, I am a choosing. You ritual is why you got my pastor where you come and deliver me. In your mind. In my mind. I didn't say it out because then I, I didn't have that confidence to say it out. So they dropped us in their room. Then later on, a man came in and spread an I don't know what something like is either it's an insecticide or something. I don't know. He spread it and left. So it didn't take long. The girl beside me fell, like, fell asleep. And my head swelled up. My eyes were red. I wasn't myself. My breathings were hard. And I, I, I wasn't getting myself as if I want to run mad. Then after some minutes, a man came in and dragged the girl carried the girl and left. So when the man came back, he was like, uh-uh, we spread something, you're supposed to be sleeping. Why, why are you opening your eyes? Why are you like this? Then I had the confidence to say, I am a choosing. Mm. I am a choosing. You now said it I out. I am a choosing. Mm. The is who are you, the God of my pastor, where are you? Come and save me. So when I said that, the man didn't say anything, he was just standing. And I shouted again, I am a choosing, I am a choosing, I am a choosing. You ritual is why the God of my pastor, where are you? And the man was like, ah, na bad me to, na bad me to, na bad me to, na bad me to. So Power! Hey, 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 hey. I just said it some minutes ago. We have countless records of this miracle. Amen. Let, let's, let's hear the conclusion of the matter so that we can be able to celebrate the tra testimony proper. So, my sister, what happened? So, you know, I said, Nabad Mito, Nabad Mito, and he now left, and I came back with someone that I felt like that is their ogre or something. He was like, Why did you bring her here? Didn't you look face? Oh, yeah, if you took anything from her, give it back to her and hey! her out of this. Hey! 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 <laughs> My sister, what happened next? What happened next? So after that, the man gave me my properties and the way he pushed me, I see if we are fighting. Mm. He just opened the gate and pushed me and closed the gate. And it was still night, like everywhere was still dark. I don't even know where I am. I was like, ah, ah. That in my mind, I was like, this place is more dangerous. So like, 
it's as if I should stay inside or something because I was very scared. It was that I've not witnessed something like this before. The bush everywhere is still dark. I'm hearing noise. I'm like, what is snake kill me here, uncle? And I say, God, there is your testimony in choosing that if something like this happens, you should send your angel to come and guide them and protect them and lead them back to their place. That God should come and intervene. That's what I said. And I started moving to the bush. I don't know where I was going. Then going at a point, I felt like somebody was following me because I was hearing footsteps. Mm. And I didn't look back. I started walking again. I felt the footstep again. I became scared and I started running. And as I was running, the footsteps were following me. And I was running and running. I was like, ah, I usually sure people don't want to come back and carry me again. I ran at a point I stopped because I wasn't hearing the footstep again. And I was resting. So as I was resting, somebody tapped me on my shoulder and I turned back. I shouted, I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing. You ritual is where I got my pastor where the person was smiling. It was a young man. I shouted again, I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing. You ritual is where I got my pastor where the person was smiling. He now asked me, why do I think that what I'm saying is not having an effect on me, on him, that he's yet to save me? Mm. Hey! Hey, hey. I, I, I want to get to the root of the matter before we go into celebration because this is what celebrating my sister finish up what happened so when he said he's here to save me and me in my mind he didn't even clock to an angel because I felt like an angel is supposed to be wearing white or look like a G or maybe on suit <laughs> so I didn't I was too scared he now told me that he's here to save me the person that's been following me or when they dragged me out of the place the first step I'm hearing he was the one so I should not be scared and if I should know I'm at Ore and I was like Ore because mm. I left my house like Ore. I entered bus at Sele. So how did I get to Ore? Mm. And I said that I'm at Ore. And today is Sunday. And I left my house on Saturday. Mm. So I was scared. Like, ah. So you not told me that there's still journey ahead. We need to get out from this bush and get to the mirror so we can ent- I can see a bus that will take me back. And I followed him as we were walking. At the point, I became tired because I was sick and I haven't eaten since Saturday. I told him, sir, I'm tired. I cannot continue. Let me rest more. If I rest more, I will continue. So I should, I should try. I said, no, I cannot. And I sat down on the floor. He carried me. As he carried me, that's how he carried me all through. We walked through that forest and came out on the marriage. So when we came out at the mail road, he now dropped me. And he told me that first, the reason why this thing happened to me was, one, I was having that, I had a disagreement with my auntie. Because on Friday night, we were having some argument. And he said, the devil used that as a loophole. That, that's why I was able to be kidnapped. If not, nothing would, I wouldn't have entered the bus I entered. So if I should get home, I should consult my auntie and make peace with her. The so angel was telling you that physically? Yes, she was telling me okay. that. So, and he told me that the reason why God intervened was because of the covenant God had with our pastor. You mean the angel that mentioned he... that? Hey! Hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Okay, tell us what happened. Let's come unto the Lord and appreciate him. Thank you, Lord. Brethren, brethren we are going to celebrate this testimony. Uh, let's know what happened finally. So, he now told me that it's because of that. And he, and he left. So, when he left, in my mind, I was like, ah, I should have known maybe, I should have known his name or something. Then I looked back, I couldn't see him. I was like, ah, I You didn't see him. see him again? Yes. He disappeared? Yes, I did not see him. I was like, where is I should, I want to know his name or something. If I get home, I'll tell my parents, look, I will save me. So, because me, I was being inquisitive, I have to go back to the bush to look for him. Uh-uh. I went back to the bush to look for him. I did not see him. Then I was like, I, and I was coming back, I was tired. So, I, there is this son that was at the bush there. I sat there because I was still weak. I sat there and I don't know when I slept off. So as I was sleeping there, I felt a tap and I opened my eyes. But the man was like, you are very stubborn and you don't take instruction. I told you to stand there and wait for a bus. What I did, I said, sir, I came to look for you. He said, I should, I should stand up and let's go to the mirror. They dragged me and dragged me out of that bush again. We came out to the mirror the second time. And he told me I should stay here. They have told me that I'm going to get to Lagos today. Nothing is going to happen to me. That I should be here. I will see a bus that will take me back. And nothing is going to happen to me. That I should be here. And I'm like, okay, sir. Um, how am I going to know your name or till I get to my hotel, my parents and I said, he's the same God of Abraham, the same God of Isaac, the same God of Jacob hey hey hey, hey. 
mystery walking God, wonder walking God of choosing. Okay? Amen. It's still the same God of the choosing. That's who, if I should get to my, should tell my parents, mm. this is the person that saved me. So at that point, when he said that, that's when it occurred to me that of a truth, this is an angel. And I was already crying and stuff like that. And then he hugged me. And when he hugged me, I wasn't feeling myself. I felt like someone that they poured cold water from the fridge. I was shaking. My body was not normal. And when he disengaged from the, the hug, I got myself. And when he, after hugging me, Nan told me not to look back. I should keep my face straight. And he left. But why he left after some minutes? Because at that point when I was the road, the weather was like it's. You really know, have in mind that this is a new day. It might be like five or six in the morning, but I'm not sure. So when he left, everything started becoming dark. I see if rain wants to fall or something. I couldn't see clearly again. And for like three minutes, everywhere became bright. And after that, I was standing there. I saw a car coming. So in my mind, I was like, maybe it's all this the young car. I'll come and explain to them. I enter and get back to Lagos. But coming closer, I saw it was one small car, camera car. So the car came and passed me and walked and moved forward. And at a point, it stopped because I was looking at the car. He stopped and revised back and came to where I am and stopped mm. and said, Oh, yeah, enter. I said, Enter where? Because in my mind, I'm just coming back from Richard. You are telling me, Enter. I said, Enter where? He said, I should enter. I said, I'm not entering. I'm a choosing. I'm a choosing. I'm a choosing. Hey, Richard, is where? The God of my pastor, where mm -hmm. are you? He smiled the same way the other man smiled. I repeated it again. I'm a choosing. I'm a choosing. I'm a choosing. Hey, Richard, killer, who are you? The God of my pastor, where are you? Come and deliver me. He smiled. He now said again, why do I think that what he's saying is not having effect on him? Hmm. That is here to save hey. me. Okay. So when he said that, me in my mind, I was still not convinced. I was like, if you are here to save me, why did you pass me the first time without drive all the way and stop to where I am and ask me to enter? But this one, you passed and went to that direction and came back. He said I should enter. I was like, if I enter, you need to tell me. I have to have an evidence whether you are from God or maybe you are a choosing. And I said, if I enter, I'm going to know. And I said, okay. And I went to the driver's and um, passenger seat and opened the door. Opening the door, I, I saw a choosing sticker and the enemy submitted. Hey! 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 hey. Wonder walking God. Amen! My sister, what happened from there? So when I saw the enemy submitted sticker, mm. it was circle, but I was like, this is not choosing sticker. Now, choosing sticker that, you know, enemy submitted is this big one that enemy submitted doesn't have like this. Something like only, can, only God can do this, I have this sticker. He now told me that this is a special sticker and it's a different choosing. So I should enter. So that's when I had the confidence and I entered and I slept off. So when I opened my eyes, I was already hearing noise and everything. And I, I looked around. I was already in Lagos, Ojodu Bega. And he now told me that this is where it's going to stop. Should I know my way from me? I said yes. He asked me where is this, and I was like, this is Bega. He now told me, okay, that this is where his journey ends, and he's turning back. So he left, and I saw him left. And I went to where I'm going to get the bus to Oshodi. I entered a bus, getting to Oshodi. I stopped. So I, when I stopped at Oshodi, I was like. Because of the way I am living my life and everything, I was like, I'm not really worthy for God to save me from this. So in my mind, I said, I, I'm supposed to go home, but I said, I'm going to come to Ijesha. So I entered the bus from Moshodi to Ijesha. And I stopped, and it was really night because everywhere was dark and everything. So when I got to Ijesha, I stopped, and I entered the old auditorium, the former children's place. I didn't know they've not constructed the inside. So when I got in, I tried to get to where the former author was and i knelt down and i told the god that i thank him for saving me even though i'm not worthy but his infinite mercy and grace he saved me all the way from away and that's how many people used to die even the guy that was with me i, I felt like they've chewed that but he had his mercy he saved me and he brought me back nothing happened to me and i prayed and i thank god and i removed money from my purse and i dropped one thousand and i dropped it at the altar and that's how i got to him and i thank god for that let's clap on to this God and appreciate it. Please let's give a resounding clap offering unto this God of chosen. Please, my sister, for clarity purpose and for my records, please hold the mic close to your mouth. You said you boarded a bus on the 14th 
of November. Yes. After the enemy submitted program. Yes, sir. Heading to Sadiku. You were to you boarded yes. a bus at Sele, heading to Sadiku. Yes, sir. Because of your health challenge, you bent your head to sleep, and all you could open your eyes to see was that you are no more in Lagos. Yes, sir. And trying to ask the conductor where are we, or trying to say Sadiku, I'm stopping at Sadiku. He hit something on your head, you slept off. Yes, sir. Long story made sure to open your eyes and found yourself in a thick forest yes, where they were dragging people and sending them to various uh, buildings and units. Yes, and sir. they took a girl of your age alongside with you to a particular uncompleted building where a man came, we said on entering the building you saw bones and blood yes, sir. in that building. And then uh, a man came in, sprayed something that made your eyes red and you were un uh, unconscious. And, uh, and f uh, the, 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 the young girl that came in with you fell asleep. Yes, but sir. you couldn't sleep. Yes, sir. The, a man walked in and carried the girl. And that was the end of the girl. And then they came back and they said, you were meant to be sleeping. Yes, sir. But you are not sleeping. Yes, and that was when you said, I am a choosing. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. Who are you? The God of my pastor. Where are you? The man didn't say anything. Yes. You repeated it again. And then the man went to call his, uh, his boss. And the boss came and said, bad meat, bad meat, bad meat. Where did you bring her from? Return everything you collected from her. That was how they forcefully pushed you out of that, uh, my sister, listen to me, of that ritualist there. Yes. And they right in the dark, outside, contemplating where to go. Yes. A man came to you and then tapped you on your shoulder you thought it was one of them and then you tried to say i'm a choosing the man said why do you think that this thing is not having an effect on me yes, sir. i was sent to save you walking alongside with the man to an extent you got tired the man had to carry you yes, and then took you to the bus stop yes, and then walked down and disappeared while you were still inquisitive that you should have known the name of the man you went in search for him into the bush but you couldn't find him the man appeared again and say why are you stubborn i have told you remain here that you will get yourself a boss that will get you home and then the man told you that his name is the god of abraham yes, sir. isaac yes, sir. and israel yes. and then long story made short a car came and as you refused to enter the car inside the car you saw and the enemy submitted sticker yes sir and then the same angel took you all the way from that ore to oshodi where you got down uh, to um, beggar yes, to sir. jodu beggar where he now told you you can find your way here yes, and then that was how you were delivered yes, sir. and the angel disappeared yes, that was how the lord delivered you from yes, ritualists yes. brethren what can we do to this good god of choosing every year i want to hear you everybody everybody Shall we clap unto this God? Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hey! Wonder walking, mysterious God of chosen. Our pastor told us some years ago that we shall be witnessing the angel of the chosen life. And here again, we are live and direct in contact with the angel of the chosen. All through a dreaded bush of the ritualists far away in Ore, God went there with the angel of the chosen and rescued our sister. Look at our sister, Helen Hattie, standing before us. Can we clap onto this good God and appreciate him? The good thing that has happened to this world is the Lord choosing charismatic revival ministry. Anybody telling you to leave the ministry, telling you to leave the church, are the people that are your greatest enemies, as said by our pastor. Remain here. We have a covenant of peace, a covenant 
covenant of blessing and a covenant of protection. Our sister said, I am a choosing, I am a child. I mean, you, you ritualists, who are you? The God of my pastor, where are you? And indeed, those ritualists saw what is more than a man. After today and tomorrow, God will bring you not only into this covenant, you shall stand here to testify. Shall we come unto the Lord and appreciate Him now? Thank you, Lord. My sister, are you through? I praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My second testimony. I also want to thank God for saving me from the end of ritually the second time. Uh -uh. So, after that, on the 24th, I was going to Arena. The same 24th of November? Yes, 24th of November. No, first one was 14, now 24th. So, on the 24th of November, I was going to my auntie's place at arena there was traffic because a trailer fell and stuff so it caused traffic there and people are rushing to enter the bus so there's this bus that came and as i want to enter the bus like this conductor is familiar but because i felt like it's enter bus here every day, I might be familiar with the conductors and everything so i entered the bus why i entered two girls two children that were going to command school entered and a yoruba woman that is old entered too as he entered and the first and the first time I entered Boss Asele, when I entered, they closed the door. So when I got to this one, I, as I entered, they closed the door again. And I remember my mom, my mom told me that next time if I mention Boss and they closed the door, I should just get down. So even if I have paid, I should get down. So when I entered the bus, and they closed the door, and I looked around, the people there, before we entered, we are all men. And I was like, ah. I was looking at the conductor, this conductor's face, even the driver's face is familiar. And as I want to shout, I am a choosing. The, the conductor turned and looked at me. Then I recognized him, recognized me. He was like, ah, is it not you that will carry the other time or I get down? Uh -uh. Wait, is it not you that will carry the other time? Oh, it was the same conductor that carried you the first time. Yes, sir. That carried you again. Yes, sir. Shall we clap onto the Lord and appreciate him for that mighty deliverance? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My, my sister, let me be quick to advise you. I picked um, a line of statement you made the first time. You said, when those ritualists caught you, you were crying because you know that if you die, you will go to head fire at that point. Can I ask you now, are you born again? Yes, sir. You are born again after that incident? Yes, sir. Are you a worker? Yes, sir. Which department are you working Corister. in? A chorister. Please, we we'll urge you to be committed and serve this good God. And that death sentence in your life has been reversed already in Jesus' name. Amen. So you mean immediately he recognized you. That was how he stopped you and you alighted from the bus. <laughs> so he told me to get down. And I was like, I'm not getting down. That guys carried me unwillingly to Ore. So and I'm, I'm, because the place was telling me to get down. If I get down, I'm not going to see a bus again. I have to trek to another bus stop and enter like i'm not getting down you guys are going to carry me to where i'm going as i'm getting down i'm getting down people that are in the bus and i declare that i'm a choosing i'm a choosing i'm a choosing you child is where i got my pastor where are you? so we are having this argument devil already stopping for me to get and i said no i'm not getting down he was murmuring and then when we get to the bus stop where i'm going and i shouted charity oh wow charity oh wow charity oh wow he now stopped we're like i should get down joe and i carried and the Three, and the, two, the two children that were lapping each other and the old mother entered with me we all got down and to me the people that were in the bus wait, I felt like they are one of them because all these people were having this argument they are not talking they are even doing as if they are dead people they did not even move their body they were not showing concern and when we got down they jammed the door and they left so that's how the mommy was now telling me that ah, you don't used to know that you used to hear this choosing story and everything not believe in it but now this thing that happened because she was going to watch Shodi but because of what happened she has to get down so like ah that thank god though that she was not praying for me and everything the kids were praying for me and i had the opportunity to invite her for the choosing program on the 25th december and i asked her if she can tell her kids to come for this program on the fourth and fifth. And after that, I told her in case she enter a bus and she encounter danger, that she should say, I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing, I'm a choosing. You or danger, who are you? God, my pastor, where are you? That God is going to intervene. And that's how God saved me for the second time in the hand of the ritualist. Hey, the let's clap on to this Lord and appreciate him. Choosing people are heavily protected. We can never die a day before our deaths. Thank you, Lord.
at this junction, I want to pray for my dad, Gio, and the family. If not because of his covenant, I would, I would have been dead by now. But God had mercy on me. I want to say that may God strengthen him and give him power. And all the choosing members, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we clap unto the Lord and appreciate him? What a mighty God we serve. 